शुक्लांबरधर विष्णु शशिवर्ण चतुर्भुज प्रसन्न वदनम ध्यानोपात सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं वरदे कामिणी विद्यारंभम करिष्यामि विद्यारंभ मे सदा ये नाक्षर सधिगम्य महेशरा कृत्न व्याकरण प्रोक्त तस्म पाणी नए नम वाक्यकारम वरुचि भाष्यकार पतंजलि पाणिनी सूत्रकार प्रणतस्मी मुनिगर्थाव संपृक्त वागर्थ प्रतिपत जगत पितरो वंदे पार्वती परमेश्वर ओ शाते 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 हरि ओं श्री गुरभ्यो नम हरि ओं We can just chant the Maheshwara Sutra and then we'll continue on. Om A E Un Relic A Ong I Out Haya Varat Lan Yama Gana Nam Jabhanya Gadha Dash Jaba Gadha Dash महेश्वरा सूत्रा सो इन अर कृदंत सेक्शन राइट वेर यूजिंग दातुज टू मेक न्यू प्रादीपदी कस So we're doing a little bit of conversion when we're talking about Kridanta. And so we've seen these four sections so far. Krityaha, Karmani Krityaha and Bhave, Kartari Krit, Rajuna and Karta, Trich, Dhul, Kvip. We've seen Nishtha, Kta and Tavatu. And we've seen, and we're going to continue to see the Shatru Shanach. Chaturushanach, we'll see a few more examples before we see Vasu. Vasu. And then if we have more time, we can go to the next section as well. So we'll see how much we can get to today. So just as a reminder, let's go to the beginning of this. Sorry, a little bit of whiplash. Chaturushanach are substitutions for both Lat Lakara and the lit lakara, right? Shatru is classified as parasmai padam. Shanach is classified as atmane padam, right? There's substitutions for lakara just like ting pratyas, okay? Except they make pratipadikams, not verbs, right? When we see shatru, Shatru denotes karta. Karta of what? Present, if we're using lat lakara, or future action, if we're using lit lakara, of a parasmai padi dhatu, right? Because it's parasmai pada suffix, right? So it's added to parasmai padi dhatu. Uh, what is second future tense? There's two, two, two future tenses. 
So it's only to lit lakara. So just to point that out. Notice this word parasmai padi. Parasmai padi means the one who has parasmai pada. Okay. So if I say parasmai pada, it just means the suffix. But if I say parasmai padi, it's the one who has a parasmai pada suffix. Just you might hear that, and just so you know the difference. Okay. Shatru finally just becomes at, like we've seen before. So sha and r go away. So just left with at. So sha. Shatru becomes at. Because of the r, it declines like sat. Um, and, and we can look at that in a moment. Okay. Do I have sat here? I have sat here. So it declines like that, right? San, sando, santaha, sandam, sando, sataha, sata, sandhyam, sandhihi, etc. Okay. So we've seen this these examples a few times, but just quickly, drish plus lat. Lat gets replaced by shatru. Shatru becomes at. Drish gets modified into pashya, just like what we see in verbs. And then pashya plus at becomes pashyat. Okay. In future tense, you can add shatru and it can replace lit. So vach plus at, vach, and then we have to add the sya because future tense, at, so vakshat. Now these are, shatru is just kartari, right? So it's an agent now who will speak in the future. So far, are we good? We've seen this before. Okay. We've also seen shanach, right? Shanach denotes more than the karta. It's the karta of present or future tense of atmane padi datus, right? So only those datus which take atmana, atmane pada. It can, so it's kartari. It can be karmani of the present or future action. It can be bhave also. Okay? The content is ana. So that means sha and cha go away and you're just with ana. So shanach becomes ana. When the anga ends with akara, ma is added in the end. So an example, we've seen this, lub plus lut. Lub, lut gets replaced by shanach. Shanach becomes ana. Then this, just like it when we're making a verb, it becomes laba, so laba ana. And then ma is added after a ending anga. So labham ana, labham ana. Feeling okay or too fast? Okay, you can you can you can give me some thumb movements. I don't <laughs> a little too fast. Yeah. Okay. Some mix mix. All right, that's okay. We're gonna see more examples of this when we when we do the I want to get to the examples. That's why I'm going a little bit fast. Okay, let's just see this one also. Drish plus Lut, right? I'm adding lut to this datu drish to see. Now, this lut gets replaced by shanach because shanach is in atmane pada prati, right? So, because drish is atmane pada, we add shanach, not shatru. Now, we are in karmani prayoga. When we're in karmani prayoga, oh, okay, so drish is not, sorry, I made a mistake there, right? So we saw earlier, drish can be 
Uh, sorry, one second. I want to show you this. Here we had Drish plus Lut, but Lut got replaced by Shatru. Why? Because Drish is actually 1P. It's Parasmai Pada. So finally, we were left with Pashat, an agent who is seeing. Okay? So hold that in your mind. Now, when we go down here, to this example, we have Shanach replacing Lut. It, it, it's Shanach replacing Lut because we're in Karmani Prayoga, right? Just like when we're in a verb, if it's karmani prayoga, we're going to add atmane pada, suffix. It doesn't matter if the original datu is P or A, it will always be A when you're in karmani prayoga. So similarly, even though the datu is P, because we're in karmani prayoga, we're going to take shanach and not shatru. So it won't be pashyat. It'll be, we'll see. Shacha goes away. We're left with Ana. So Drish plus Ana. Now, just like if we were making a verb and we would say Drishyate, right? So the Anga has the same changes as if we were going to make a verb. So it becomes Drishya. We add the Yakara. Karmani Yat. Yak, right? The Yakara, like when we're making any Karmani, we add the Yakara. So it becomes Drishya plus ana, since this is a ending, ma is added after a ending anga followed by ana. So because it's a ending and it's followed by ana, we add a makara, so it becomes drishyam ana. So drishyam ana. In Dakshnamurti Sutram, drishyam ana nagari. Maybe we see that word. Drishyam. So now, earlier we saw the meaning of Pashat was an, uh, it was an agent, right? It was a karta who is seeing. Here, it's an object because we're in karmani, it's an object which is being seen. So this prayoga is very important to how we're going to translate and also what the form is going to be. Let's see some examples. And now we'll slow down quite a bit. Okay. We'll slow down quite a bit. One thing I wanted to show you. Yeah, I'm going to stop sharing this. is I sent in the email today. There's a new document. Uh, let's see if I can share. Let me try one more time. Meda Michikaji has created an answer guide for our book. So this is the new book, which has the answer key which I've sent over email to all of the exercise which we are doing. So the answer guides to volume three, right? So we've seen all of these already. Now we'll just pick up to where we were, okay? But I wanted to show you that this document exists. It has all the answers to all the things we've done and all the things we're going to do. I don't, I, I'm not sure if it's all the way complete, but so far uh, what I'm seeing is that it's, um, it's, well developed. Okay. So let's see. 
we left off here at number six. We can pick up in number six. This is the only way I can, <laughs> I figure out how to not reveal all the information. So we're gonna have to do it like this, okay? For a little bit. Hopefully it won't be too annoying. Okay. So let's look at the sentence, okay? Shishyaha pakshinam. So read it with me. Shishyaha pakshinam gitam shrinvantaha vane brahmanti. Shishyaha pakshinam gitam shrinvantaha vane brahmanti. Okay. So where do you what do you think the can you catch the verb you can yeah you can see it i see it in your mouth brahmanti brahmanti this brahmnatu means to move right or to wander so latlakara kartri prayoga pratama purusha ekavachan yeah so far we're okay Paratama Purusha, Bahu Vachana, Bahu Vachana. So, so far we're not good. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so here's the information. Brahm plus Lat, Kartri, third three. So here's how we should, we can write it also there, right? Brahm, Lat, Kartri, third three. We need all that information. Datu information, Pratya information. Okay. Now, if I were to, to look at the sentence, we need to find a first case, right? So if we go from here, shishyaha, can that be first case? Thumbs up, thumbs down? Yeah, that can be first case. One, three. Pakshinam. Pakshinam, I hear nam. Nam, I usually think six case, right? Gitam, depending on the gender, but Gita is feminine. No, no, Gita he, um, here. Yeah, Gitam, Gita, Akaranta, masculine actually. So it's not Gita. But Gitam can be 2 1, right? Shrinvantaha. Shrinvan, Shrinvanto, Shrinvantaha. So this could be first case, right? So we can say this is this might be first case, this might be first case. Vane, vana akaranta. No, that's seven one, right? So vane, brahmanti. Okay, so we have two. We have two first cases, shishyaha, shinvanta. Let's say shishyaha, right? So shishyaha, brahmanti. Shishyaha, so, so this is akaranta, Pullinga, Pratama Vibhakti, Bahu Vachana, right? And it's Kartari Prathama to Brahmanti, right? The Shishyas are wandering, students are wandering, right? Students wander. Kartari to Brahmanti. So, shishyas, the students, wander. So far, we've got that, right? Students wander. Okay. Now, we can just go right to left. So, will they wander where? Vane. Right? So, this is vana. This is, as we said, saptami vibhakti. Ekavachanam Adikarane to Brahmanti Adikarane Saptami. Adikarane Saptami means the seventh case in the sense of location. So, what are we doing? Shishyas are wandering where? Vane in the forest. It says adhikarane to shishyaha. We can say either way. 
we can say adhikarane to brahmanti or we can say adhikarane to shishyaha why are they saying adhikarane to shishyaha is because the students are in the forest right so it doesn't matter either way the wandering in the forest you can say or the students are in the forest wandering does that make sense so students wander in the forest. Okay. Now we have another first case, Shrinvantaha. So we have to think, first of all, what's the context? We're talking about Shatru Shana. <laughs> is it Shatru or is it Shana? Do we see Ana anywhere here? Shrinvantaha. We don't see Ana. We don't see Shrinvana or Shrinvyavana or something like that. Right? We see Shrinvantaha. So it's Shatru. Shatru. One, three. And when we have two words with the same case, well, it's called samana adhikarana, right? So this can be an adjective to shishya. Okay, so shrudata, what does shrudata mean? Shru, shravan, shravanam, right? We know that word, right? Is he, to listen. So shrinvantaha. So the students who are listening or hearing. So it's an adjective to shishya. So the students, oops, the students who are wandering in the forest are listening or hearing. Okay, what are they hearing? Kam Shrinvantaha, Gitam Shrinvantaha, right? Gitam. So, Gitam is the object of Shrinvantaha, right? So, this is the second case, singular, Karmani Dutiya to Shrinvantaha. Okay, notice it's not Karmani Dutiya to Brahmante. They're not wandering the song. It's karmani, it's the object of listen. So the students wander in the forest, hearing or listening to what? Gitam, to the song. Kasya Gitam. Or Kesham Gitam, Pakshinam. Pakshinam. What is Pakshinam? What does Pakshi mean? Bird, right? So, Pakshi, Ikaranta. I think it's actually, uh, I have to look it up if it's Pakshin. I think it's Pakshin Shabda, Pakshin, Nakaranta. And it is Shashti Vibhakti Bahuvachanam. It's Karmani, uh, it's a, not Karmani Shashti, it's um, Sambande Shashti to Gitam. Right? Whose song? Gita, or uh, not, sorry, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> It's the song is connected to who? Pakshinam. Right? So, Sambande to Gitam. Okay. So, let's translate this again. The students wander in the forest, hearing or listening to the song of the birds. Or you can say it like this. Hearing the song of the birds, students wander in the forest, right? So you put this clause first, 
uh, relative clause and then main clause. Okay, let's pause there. Yeah, any questions? So, Nilimaji, you can go ahead and me. Um, everything is clear except the one a part where adhikarane saptami. I would think has to be the verb. It's going to a noun. Yeah, so if you see, it's actually on two lines here. So, adhikarane to shishya. Oh, I see. So, that's why it's a little bit. Oh, I see. I didn't see that. Yeah. Yeah. So, I said it can be either. Really, it's it's both. It, it, but we have always said, do it to the verb. Let's just keep it to the verb because yeah. that makes sense. The The wandering is in the forest. Right. So, I think. Now it's makes, yeah. That's excellent. Thank you, Shivanji. Any other questions here? You can unmute yourself. Okay. This next one is a little bit more hard. Um, by the way, this is also the Shrupashatra is what we were looking at, Shrinvat. The Pratipati of Shrinvat, one three is Shrinvanta. Okay. This next one is difficult. Should we go for a difficult one or should we? Okay. We might as well. Pashyan Shrinvan Gachan San Saha. This may sound familiar if you're a long time Gita student. I'll show you um, the verse actually here. Show you again. So this is not. This is uh, just I found online, but you can pull up any Gita. It's chapter five, verses eight and nine. Naiva kinchit karom karomiti yukto manyeta tattavita pashan shinvan sprishan jigran ashnan gachan sopan shwasan pralapan vrsajan grinnan unmishan nimishan napi indriyan indriyartheshu vartante iti dharayan. This is the most fun verse to memorize and to, to chant because it's klishta. It's a little difficult. Um, but you see how many shatru words are in this one verse. Oh, can you see this? Oh, you can't see the screen. Sorry. Here I am thinking you can see. So you can see how many uh, words are shatru. <laughs> I'm highlighting all those words only. And you can see the, the translation. This is not a traditional translation, but it's okay. So uh, a, a person, Although engaged in seeing, hearing, touching, smelling, eating, moving, sleeping, breathing, always knows that he actually does nothing at all. Naiva kinchit karomi iti. Okay, now let's go back to our verse in the, in the text. Okay. So now that we have that background, okay. Pashyan Shinvan Gachan San Saha Na Eva Kinchit Karoti. Okay. So do we see a verb anywhere here? Does someone want to unmute and tell me the verb? Karoti. Okay, we got a few people. Karoti, great. 
karoti, right? So we know that verb is karoti. Kridatu, lat, karatari, third one. That's nothing new, right, for us? Yeah, I know it's small on the screen, uh, but hopefully you can see that. Oh, I'm gonna. You can see my whole screen there, yeah. Okay. Karati. Kri, lat, kartri, third one. Okay. Now, we can give cases, pashan, shrinvan, gachan, san, saha. <laughs> what cases are all those words in? You can give me some fingers. One, one. So let's just start with saha. This is tad shabda, pullinga, kartari, to karoti. So saha karoti, he does. But you know there's some other words here. <laughs> Na karoti, he does not do. He na karoti, he does not do. We have some avyaya words here. Kinchit, kinchit means anything. Kinchit means anything. Avyaya. Eva means alone or at, here in the, in the way of the translation say at all. He does not do anything alone or at all. He does not do anything at all. It sounds like most husbands, right? Do not, does not do anything at all. <laughs> okay, but Saha, he is described in a little bit different way. Okay, so son. Adjective to Saha. So, right, these are, this is, Samanadi karane to saha. So if you look here, san is actually as datu plus shatru. It has a bit of a different formation, but as, this akara goes away, you finally just, it becomes sa plus, and shatru becomes at. Okay, so sa plus at, sat. When we usually have this word sun or sat, then the variations, it means being. Right? So he, he who is who is being, he who is being, he is being what? He is being Pashan Shrinvan Gachan. Okay? So if we just, uh, we can start with Pashyan. Pashyan would be Drishdatu plus Shatru, right? We saw this example earlier. Drish becomes Pash, Pashya, and Shatru becomes At, so Pashyat is one one. So, or, uh, Pashyat is the Pratipadika, one one is Pashyan. And it's an adjective to Saha. So, he, he who is being Pashyan, the one who, Pash means to see, right? So, the one who is seeing. So, he, even though being, Pashyan, so he is the one who is seeing. It's not a verb. The verb would be pashyati. Right? Pashyati, pashataha, pashanti. But here, it's a, when I've drish pashatra, it becomes a kridanta, which is a noun. 
right? So it's a qualifying word to this other noun. So he who is seeing, he who is Srinvat, Srinvan, one, one. So Shru plus Shatru. Shru means what? To hear. So he who is seeing, who is hearing, and gachan, gachan, gamdatu, plus shatra, latkartri. Gam means what? To go. So who is going or is moving in some way? He who is seeing, hearing, moving, right? Even though being that person, na karoti kinchiteva does not do anything at all. So even while seeing, hearing, walking, he does not do anything at all. Okay, does this feel okay? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Can you explain sat again? Uh, how did you get sun and what mm -hmm. it exactly means? Yeah. Thank you. So sat is, uh, let me do this one second. Sat is us, Tatu. Us, Tatu, plus Shatra. Us, a funny thing happens with us and it, you're just left with sa, plus Shatra. Shatru becomes um, at, and so you're just left with sa plus at, and finally you're left with sat. Right, sat is the final word there. So why do we, why do they write sun? Yeah, sun. So when you're declining the word, the okay. one one of sat is sun. Sun santo santaha. Ityadi. So that's why it is it's in the first case. What it means actually? It means, uh, so us means to be, right? So right. it just means being. Okay. The one who, it's hard to translate because being like one who is something, right? Or one being. So is it like a duplication of Saha and being? See, it, it, it tells us he who is being, he is being what? It's not, and, and you wouldn't say it's not the object of being, but no. he's being the one who is seeing. Okay, okay, okay. He's being the one who is hearing. Because if we're translating each of these words literally, it would say one who is he seeing, one who is hearing, one who is going. So he, being the one who is seeing, the one who is hearing, the one who is going, does not do anything at, at uh, does not do anything, does not do anything at all. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It feels like we're doing math problems together. It's kind of kind of fun. Okay. If you think math is fun, you're probably someone who thinks Sanskrit is fun. <laughs> I, I think so too, yes. Okay. <laughs> Except my uh, sometimes the simple things confuse me. That's okay. Om Tat Sat Shri Krishna Pranasthi.